The latest Retrospect client software has changed in several ways. The first change you're going to notice is that the Retrospect client is no longer located under the Applications directory, but is now found under System Preferences. Inside System Preferences, I click on the Retrospect client, and then I'm going to be taken to the Status tab. Under the Status tab, the user can turn the client on or off. This is an option that's now controllable by the backup administrator from within the Retrospect software itself. You'll also notice that Retrospect will display the name of the backup server that is protecting this client and the IP address of the client itself. It'll tell you the date and time of the last backup and it'll show you an approximate next backup date and time if you're using a proactive backup script to protect this machine. Under the History tab, you will see a listing of all the past backups that have taken place of this particular machine. The end user has the ability to restore their own data by clicking this Restore button. This is an option that's also controllable by the backup administrator. When the user clicks the Restore button, they will get a listing of all the files and folders that were successfully backed up so that the user can see what has been protected and whether this is the type of restore they want to perform. When the restore takes place, it will not overwrite any data. It will restore the data to a new folder on the user's machine. Retrospect also, under the Notification tab, will show you an option to notify the user after a successful or an incomplete backup. You can notify if there's no backup after a certain number of days. And then Retrospect Client can also notify you if it detects smart disk errors. The Retrospect Client also now has a Privacy tab that allows you to exclude specific files or folders using a path. So by clicking on the plus, I can pick, as an example, the Music Directory, and I can specify that so that it is now excluded from all backups. And you can add as many items as you'd like to this window. This is also controllable by the Backup Administrator. You also have a Schedule tab which allows you to specify your proactive backup scheduling. 